Do you smell that? That's the stench of Sweet Baby Stink. Well, here we are again talking about Sweet Baby Stink. And in fact, I would encourage you to take a look at anyone in the video game sphere who does video game news content who isn't talking about Sweet Baby Stink and ask yourself, gee, why isn't this YouTuber talking about Sweet Baby? I wonder why they're just completely silent on the matter. Could it be that, you know, they're radical left-wing propagandists just like SBI is? I'm Fox with Real Mark Fox, and this is your stronghold of rational, reasonable, real gamers. Let's roll the intro. You're watching Real Mark Fox. Your stronghold for rational, reasonable, real gamers. Remember when I suggested that Sweet Baby Stink was using coercion and intimidation tactics to try to threaten publishers and developers into working with them? Well, it turns out I was absolutely right. Put this stuff up to your higher-ups, and if they don't see the value in what you're asking for when you ask for consultants, when you ask for research, go have a coffee with your marketing team and just terrify them with the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want. Remember when I called Sweet Baby Stink anti-white, anti-male, and anti-hetero? Well, I was absolutely right there again, because it seems that Sweet Baby Stink and its employees have a particular hatred for straight white men. So what we have here is exactly what I was saying. Sweet Baby Stink is an anti-white, anti-male, anti-hetero company that uses coercive tactics to threaten and intimidate publishers and developers into paying them money for offering nothing more than suggestions on what they should change. In her GDC talk, that's Game Developers Conference talk, Kim Belair, one of the co-founders of Sweet Baby Stink, talked about her creativity. And yet, I don't see any actual creation. What does SBI, Sweet Baby Stink, create? Nothing. They don't create anything. In fact, she herself admits that for most of her life, she spent all her time inserting herself into other people's creations. She would take someone else's creation and put her in it replace someone in that creation with herself or someone that she wanted to see in it. And I would put myself into a lot of art, into a lot of narratives, and I put my family and people who look like me in all of these cool scenarios. Now this is fine if you're just doing fan fiction or if you're just fantasizing on your own, but when you threaten or intimidate someone into giving you money so that they will insert into their own creation what you think should be in there, that's not creativity. You see, Sweet Baby Stink doesn't create anything. They have no creativity. All they do is take other people's creativity and corrupt it. Anybody, me, you, anybody, can take an already existing creative product, such as my novel, New Tokyo, which is, look at that, it's right here. My novel, New Tokyo by Mark Fox. We'll just put that right back up there where it was. Anybody can take a pre-existing work, a creation, and critique it. Anybody can take a pre-existing work, something you or anyone else created, and tell the person, Here's what you have to change. Anybody can take a work of creativity and tell the person, you should change this, you should change that. That's not skill. There's nothing creative about that. Sweet Baby Stink has no creativity. It creates nothing. It only destroys, manipulates, and corrupts. And unfortunately, Sweet Baby Stink is not alone. In fact, if you look on the screen here, you'll see that others have dug up a variety of companies that do similar things to Sweet Baby Stink. These are all essentially consultation companies that create nothing. They have no creativity of their own. They simply take other people's creations and tell them, change this, change that and they think they're contributing. Let me tell you what my opinion is. This is essentially a modern day mafia. What they do is intimidate developers and publishers into paying them money with the threat that there will be this big backlash if they don't. Little do most of these developers and publishers know that the only backlash they may receive is the low ESG score. But again, money is money. I understand why a company or publisher would want that high ESG score for loans and grants, but even then, I'm not going to forgive them caving into radical far left wing propaganda. Look, I get it. There are people who are on the left who are against Sweet Baby Stink, and that's good. But you can't deny the fact that everyone who is like Sweet Baby Stink is on the left, the far left. There are no conservative outlets doing what Sweet Baby Stink does. There are no conservatives or right wing people doing what Sweet Baby Stink does. Sweet Baby Stink 
Brink and all these similar consultation companies are all radical left wing. And that's an acknowledgement we need to make. If you or someone you know is on the left and they don't want to acknowledge that, well, that's reality. That's where we're at. That's the left. If you don't want to be in the pronoun priesthood, if you don't want to be one of the rainbow people, if you don't want to be in the same group as Sweet Baby Stink, well, there's no avoiding it. You gotta move away from the left. All of this garbage comes from the left. You don't have to become right wing, of which there's virtually nobody I know who's right wing. The radical far left is so radically far left that they make moderates or slightly right leaning people look like they're right wing. So again, what's the solution to the problem of sweet baby stink and all these other companies? Let's keep doing what we're doing. Expose them, refuse to buy, and complain to publishers and developers. This is our best strategy. Write that email. Send Send that tweet, send that letter in the mail, make that phone call. I myself have done it, you should do it too, because until we fight back, we're gonna keep getting this garbage that keeps infecting our games, making them worse and worse and worse. Gatekeeping a hobby is actually a good thing when we gatekeep out the people who want to destroy the hobby. Kim Belair and her cohorts at Sweet Baby Stink and all these other consultation companies want nothing more than to corrupt and to destroy this hobby, and they don't belong in it because they don't wanna be in it. It. They don't care about games. They aren't gamers. They don't like playing video games. They're just here to push their far left radical propaganda and we want none of it. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure to tap the like button, subscribe, notification bell icon, leave a comment or two below. And if you haven't already, consider joining the channel. Huge shout out to Super Real Gamer Drunken Dwarf. You're awesome. And another huge shout out to Real Gamer Fornelius Nolan, who has his own YouTube channel. I recommend you check it out. And if you want to support me, the channel and my work as an author, you can pick up a copy of New Tokyo. If you don't need the paperback version, go ahead and grab it on Kindle. I actually make more money when you do. Thank you again so much for watching and as always, for Fox sake, stay real gamers. Don't forget to grab your copy of New Tokyo available on Amazon and Kindle, Kindle Unlimited in paperback formats. You're watching Real Mark Fox, your stronghold for rational, reasonable, real gamers.